Well, tonight, people who live near Mountain Island Lake will learn more about the flood risk to their homes. Some people are not happy about this because it could cause their insurance rates to go up. We have a map to show you the neighborhood we're talking about along the Catawba River. Channel 9's Paul Boyd is live in the area, and Paul, the state using some new technology to update their floodplains. Yeah, that new technology helped produce these new floodplain maps. And right now, there's a whole bunch of residents inside this building getting their very first look at those maps. The meeting just started a few minutes ago. The banks of the Catawba River are beautiful, but when heavy rains hit our area, there is always the potential threat for flooding. We ended up taking 13 inches through the house. And Dave Conley experienced flooding firsthand back in 2004. He's one of the homeowners attending a meeting tonight hosted by Charlotte Mecklenburg Stormwater Services. They'll be answering questions about this just released preliminary FEMA floodplain map. The number one concern is the potential impact on flood insurance rates for anyone with a mortgage. Well, we're multiple thousands of dollars a year in flood insurance now. Dave's area of Mountain Island Lake along the Catawba will see the biggest change in risk, potentially sending premiums higher. The homes here are already in the floodplain, but the new data shows the water would rise about two feet higher in the next so-called 100-year flood. This is an area that's flooded before and will most likely flood again, but it, we want to keep them safe, and that's the important part here. This is the new online map that allows homeowners throughout Mecklenburg County to look and see if the new floodplain affects their property. Our analysis shows a very narrow impact. Some people, like Richard Welch, who live on the Catawba, own their homes outright and don't need to carry flood insurance. He also says he built his home high enough to handle any historic flooding. I'm not worried about mine. And we posted a link to the website where you can search for your property within this new floodplain map. You'll find that within my story at our WSOC-TV app. Back to you guys.